Hey everybody, this is Tazlon for Drop Top Tees. Making a video today on how to debadge or take an emblem off a vehicle. I've had one that I wanted to remove for a while now. A um, little bit different today because I'm my own videographer. I'm using a tripod for the camera right now. I'm going to have a, a head mount later on. Hopefully that'll work out and show you well what I'm going to do. But here's what I'm talking about. You've seen this before. My spider emblem, this is the original spider design that um, I had on my hood and trunk and on both sides of the car. I modified that design into what I use now, which is like what you can see here. And uh, we had a person sideswipe us out on the interstate and kind of <laughs> remove the emblem on the other side. So since I knew I was changing out the design of it. I never ordered another one for that side. So it's big car show coming up, Italian Car Fest in about a week and a half. It's time to get this one off of here. So I thought when I did it, I'd show you how to debadge a car. And this would work whether you, you know, want to take your, your numbers off or manufacturer off or whatever. Any kind of emblem that's on a car, here's how you take it off. Now, in order to do this correctly, you need the following items. Washcloth of some type, something to dry. Now in my case, I'm going to use the last coat go-to waterless wash. Um, you can just use a warm soapy towel if you want. A heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer. Amazingly enough, with both my women who have long hair, we do not have a hair dryer in our house. They don't use them on their hair because they don't like the way it damages their hair. A Two choices for the final step. Something like Goo Gone, which you can use to take the residue, the stickiness off. Or I chose to go with 3M Eraser Stripe. I'll show you how they both work. You can get these on Amazon. Sometimes you can find them in hardware or automotive stores. Um, Goo Gone, you can usually find for just two, three dollars in an automotive store. Probably Walmart or something like that as well. And in my case, I need a drink too because it's 102 outside right now. Yesterday we maxed out at 106. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit warm here. I may have to think about taking off my winter coat here soon. Um, so, let's get started. One thing you do not want to do, doesn't matter how many Bubba's and Billy Bob's told you it works, do not take a flathead screwdriver and come down here and pry that sucker off. This is not a hold my beer moment. You want to do this and preserve your paint. So we're showing you how to do that without harming your paint. Don't pry it off. Oh, I left out one thing. You need dental floss as well. Like almost every step along the way, you can find alternatives. I use regular dental floss. Some people use fishing line or something like that. Dental floss is most convenient and it works great. So, I'm going to mount this camera on my head and see if it actually works well. Hopefully it goes well. Okay, so now that we have it clean, our next step is to heat it up. The idea is to get the glue warmed up so it gets soft and we'll be able to run our dental floss behind it and debadge the car. Now you don't need to get it really hot to do this. You just need to get it warm enough to heat it up. The other thing you don't want to do is focus the heat gun and just hold it in one place. You want to move it back and forth. If you leave it in one spot, especially if you have a heat gun where you can't control the temperature, you risk getting it too hot. And damaging the paint surface. So 
so let's see if we have it warm enough yet. And you just saw through it. And as you can see, it came right off. But look at all that goo that remains. Now, this is the more difficult part. I'll show you two different ways to do it. One is the old fashioned way, least expensive way, and that is shoe gone. I'm gonna do part of it with the goo gone so you can see how that works. Again, you could be tempted just to take a screwdriver and scratch all that off and don't do it. Do not do it. You can take some. You know, you can take your fingernail and rub it off. I just want to soften it up first. So we're gonna let that sit there for a minute or two. You can see just with my fingernail, some of it's coming off, but I really don't want to scratch the car. I have a nylon scraper inside that I could use. And basically what you have here is the adhesive that the badges and emblems use are two-sided. They stick to the badge and emblem and they stick to the surface of the vehicle. So as you peel it off, most of it, it comes off the emblem first and you're stuck with what's on the car. So you have to remove it. And you can see this is a time consuming process. It will come off and eventually you'll get it all off. The goo gun will eventually remove all of it, but that takes a long time. Enter my 3M stripe remover tool. This just goes on a standard drill. It works best around 2,000 RPMs. What you don't want to do is run it faster. You don't want to run it faster than 4,000 RPMs.
just have a little bit left. You can see how much quicker this is going. I almost have it to where you can't see the outline. Okay, so as you can see, <laughs> this is weird. I'm showing you the side of my car and it looks like the reflection of my bikes. Wow. You can't see, this is where the emblem was, you can't see it at all. And um, I guess that's a testament for uh, how good the, uh, the last coat is there because it looks like I'm just seeing a reflection of the other part of my garage. Okay, so there is a basic way to debadge your car. You clean the area, take a heat gun or a hair dryer, move it around, don't leave it in one spot, make the metal just slightly warm to the touch, take um, dental floss, work your way behind the badge, it'll fall off. Um, and then you, take, you can take Goo Gone and get it real soaked you could use a nylon scraper or your fingernail and slowly work it off. That's going to be a little bit time consuming because it's going to take a while for it to slowly loosen up and come off. Or you can get like a 3M stripe remover, a racer stripe, and um, a drill. Just basically sand it off, buff it off, and um, that comes off in a matter of minutes. You go over it a couple times. At the end, if there's some really like an outline of whatever the shape was or anything that just is being stubborn about it, you can take a, uh, a paint safe polish and just polish it, it'll come off. Okay, um, if you like the video, thumbs up. Somewhere over there, hit the subscribe button. And um, don't forget to buy a t shirt. Also, next up, as you can see here, I have some kind of crap on my top um, so I thought I would do another quick video and show you a good way a good system to use to take care of your canvas tops not only to clean them but to help to protect them against the elements when you're done um, I'm going to be using 303 products and uh, I'll show you how you do it tomorrow see you then